Flash Forward Festival come to Boston? It's a really good question. So we premiered the inaugural festival in Toronto uh, last October, and Matthew Stern, the general manager at the Fairmont Battery Wharf, uh, came down to see it and thought that the property here at the Fairmont would be a perfect merge for what we did in Toronto. And so he had this vision and thought, you know, maybe this could work. So he brought us over here and showed us the spaces and it was much different than this was. But I looked around, saw the property and really heard how he was speaking about creating something really different in Boston. And also I really wanted to take the Fairmont Battery Wharf and turn it into an arts destination. And I thought by kicking off a festival on the beautiful harbor would be a perfect combination. And this is how we came here. The venue was critical for me because and also, you know, in every great city, art happens around the harbor. And Vivian Lee spent, you know, an incredible amount of energy and time cleaning up the harbor. And I think that's a really important component. And also, you know, having the ability to build along the harbor, have, you know, water taxis go along galleries, you know, the 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 future thought of what could happen is, you know, the possibilities are numerous, so it's just a really exciting. The outdoors, I have to say, well, you know, if you're taking the, what you should be doing, first of all, let me stress this very clearly, the water taxi system here is brilliant. You can take a water taxi, come to the Fairmont Battery Wharf, as I told everybody from Toronto that was arriving to do that. So you pull up on the Fairmont Battery Wharf dock, and the first thing you see are along the, the Fairmont Battery Wharf windows, along the Harbour Walk is the exhibition, one on the wall, one on the floor. You look up and you see these beautiful massive windows from Jessica Eaton, our Flash for 2011, it's her first premiere here, so she hasn't even premiered in Toronto yet. Um, so it, it's cohesively, it binds together really well. Interesting. Um, I, we, well, we didn't know what to expect. So, because we are from Toronto, we have a you know a certain type of crowd. We know and we could gear who you know what we would get. But it's our, in Toronto, it surpassed our expectations by a long shot. We had ten thousand people over the five days attend. Again, in an emerging area, which we actually we seem to take emerging areas and do pop up festivals, and it seems to be our staple actually. And well, what's what's turning our organization into actually, I should say. And what's happening now is that, you know, we didn't know what to expect in Boston and all we really wanted was to show Boston and give something really professionally seen, really well programmed and just turn something really exciting. And Boston has embraced us brilliantly and it feels so right to be here. I can't even explain it. We are so lucky because we have, you know, the staff, the entire staff who have been great at the Fairmont Battery Wharf 
everyone there has really worked hard with us to bring this all together and to bring this to fruition. Um, the reality is that there's been two of us who came from Toronto, but there was a lot of managing behind the scenes. And plus I had two people here, you know, also working behind the scenes, building an art community on this level, and so there's a lot of going back and forth behind a computer and managing from a phone. But we had a template, and because we had the template, I was pretty confident that we could bring it over. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know how this was all gonna turn out, but when I look around, I am just so impressed. anyone, art enthusiasts, people who like art, people who are interested, people who are nosy, people who just want to come out, you know, art is culture. It's your thriving culture of, and your history. So I think, you know, in a hundred years from now, when we're no longer around, they're going to remember these things, remember the photography that depicted the time and age, and this is what we're creating. Nothing! It's completely free. The only thing you have to do is, you know, when we're having our openings and stuff, buy some wine and buy some beer. There's there's absolutely no charge. It is free to the public. And you did a fair amount of fundraising, is that correct? We did all fundraising, absolutely. We are a not-for-profit organization, so we're beholden to our sponsors. But we've been really, really fortuitous to have amazing sponsors like TD, who is our presenting sponsors, the entire chain of the Fairmont, from the Fairmont Battery Wharf to the Fairmont Hotels and resorts who sponsor the outdoor exhibitions to the Battery Wharf Utopia here that give us these unbelievable spaces that, you know, I have to say are just incredible. Look at what's going on around here. Right? So when we were programming it, we wanted to really take the things that we thought were really successful in Toronto. Um, so we brought back Susan Mays, sorry, Susan Bright, to talk about her last project. Um, Stephen Mays, who, who's the director of Agency 7, because he has a lot of great insight about the photography network area. We also did 50% of programming around Boston, meaning that we took the Bostonian culture and photographers incorporated it into what we were doing. Um, and then, you know, we also brought back Todd Hedo, now, sorry, Todd Hedo, sorry. Um, and that was a really big thing for us because he was educated here. He's a really incredibly well-known photographer. And when we were doing Boston, I thought, you know, this is all going to come together brilliantly if he comes back to where he was educated and where he hasn't been in a long time. And his lecture was extremely brilliant. And tomorrow there's more. We have the photo book discussion, the future of the photo books. Um, we have the person who's launching what self-publishing is and what artists are doing. So there's still lots more fun to be having. And then on top of it, we have the sangria party in the courtyard from 4.30 to 7. So it's brilliant. In the building of the the two battery wharf, um, which is right across from the hotel itself, 
And on this floor that we're at right now is the 2010 Touring Show, because we've always toured Flash Forward, so this is the Flash Forward winners from Canada, United States, United Kingdom. So these are the ones that the jurors have selected to be part of the program for the year. Um, so within it, we decided as well that with every festival comes, you know, where people would like to relax and talk and catch up and where they meet people. So we were very, very fortunate to have JFS Design, you know, build these incredible rest stops for us. Like, they're just unbelievably gorgeous and we are so thrilled to have that as part of the exhibition itself. organization started um, from a friend of mine asking me to do a compendium on Canadian photographers um, and I wasn't living in Toronto at that point and I decided to go back home and review the culture that I had left for 10 years because I was living in New York and when I got to see the artists in the community and the fact that they had no high-end art publisher I thought oh I could do this and then I put this together with a select panel of 17 nationwide jurors a fantastic compendium of Canadian photographers called Carte Blanche so that kicked off the organization and then I was just I had ideas and I thought I'll try this I'll try that so you know seven years later we have an incredibly unbelievable online international magazine called Magenta Magazine. We have our books and exhibitions, which we do. We have a blog, we have the Magenta television site, and now we have the festivals. Absolutely, of course. I only have bigger plans. <laughs>